for today, for our deceased relatives, friends, and benefactors, for Kate, Joshua, Ingrid, and Jacques, uh, Jack, and for uh, all those recommended to our prayers, for the repose of the soul of Father Chris Harrison, Claire Crossan, and Edgar Gaetan, for the souls in purgatory, for the conversion of sinners, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we give thanks for the forgiveness of our sins, so that we may come before the Lord in peace and purity of heart. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, giver of pardon and loving author of our salvation, grant we pray you in your mercy that through the intercession of Blessed Mary ever Virgin and all your saints, the members, friends and benefactors of our community who have passed from this world may attain a share in eternal happiness through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brethren, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any incentive of love, any participation in the Spirit, any affection and sympathy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, having the same love, being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfishness or conceit, but in humility count others better than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interest of others. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep my soul in peace at your side, O Lord. Keep my soul in peace O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Keep my Keep soul my in peace, peace. Your side, O Lord. O Lord. Truly I have set my soul in tranquility and silence, as a wind child on its mother, as a wind child is my soul within me. Keep my soul in peace, peace. at your side, O Lord. O Israel, wait for the Lord, both now and forever. Keep my soul in peace, peace. at your side, O Lord. O Lord. Alleluia. <clears throat> if you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. 
Jesus said to the ruler who belonged to the Pharisees who had invited him, When you give a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your kinsmen or rich neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you. You will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. If we were to ask people generally, how many Beatitudes are there? Are there? Uh, like you might with the children at Mass, how many Beatitudes? And you would expect them to give the answer eight because of the eight Beatitudes at the beginning of the Sermon on the Mount in St. Matthew's Gospel. But in fact, this is a literary device, a macarism it's called, from Macarios, blessed. Uh, And there are Beatitudes sprinkled throughout the New Testament. And we have one today very slightly hidden, but a beatitude nonetheless. And we could frame it like this. Blessed are those who cannot be repaid. You will be repaid in the resurrection of the just. It's a very short beatitude and it's a very powerful one because it touches something which we have been rather slow to learn and even slower to practice. Luke is talking about generosity, the kind of generosity that doesn't have one eye on how well this will be seen or if this will mean I will get invited myself now to all sorts of banquets. In other words, we do not or should not give with an expectation of returning or in order to get something back. A true gift requires no return. It is pure giving. But I've never come across these parties where people, even in, among church people, who have invited the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind. Uh, sometimes by accident, some of the guests are blind, but they're not invited because they're blind. And people are not invited, often because they're poor, or crippled, or maimed. So it's a lesson we have to learn uh, about generosity. And we pray today that we would have that generosity of the early Christians who didn't count the cost. And Paul, in the first reading, is encouraging us to be selfless, uh, not to invite people be out of selfishness or conceit, but to have all the same mind, the same love, and the same interests in building up the kingdom of God, which is so different from the kingdom around us. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of the Lord's, for the praise and the glory of his name. For our O God, whose mercy is beyond measure, receive with favor our humble prayers, and through the sacrament of our salvation, Grant to the souls of our relatives, friends, and benefactors the remission of all their sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as one alone he accepted death, so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. In your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and to bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We pray as all Christians pray in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so that we may, with the help of your mercy, be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, 
and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. 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 The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty and merciful God, that the souls of our relatives, friends and benefactors, for whom we have offered this sacrifice of praise to your majesty, may through the power of this sacrament be cleansed from all their sins and receive from your mercy the happiness of perpetual light through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, all the evil spirits who wander through the world in the ruin of souls, Amen.